In this session I'm going to show you how to do the installation of iQPaaS. In a previous session I've shown you how to download it. I have downloaded the iQPaaS installation file from the website and I have saved it here in this folder. All you have to now do is make sure you double click on the iQPaaS installation. You can say run and then you will see the welcome screen. Here it will tell you the version that it's going to install, so you can click on Next. Please read the license agreement, and after you've read the whole license agreement, click on I accept the agreement, and then click on Next. This is where you'll be installing iQPaaS. It can be on the C drive or any other drive you desire. Just remember, always keep that drive the same and then you click on Next. Here we specified that we will add an IQ Retail folder to the Start menu and we want to know if you would like a shortcut on the desktop. You can say Create the shortcut, otherwise you can leave it open and then you can say Next. Now we need you to specify if you need to run or we need to run the upgrade option. If this is a first time installation you don't need to run the upgrade but thereafter please always say yes. So in other words to play it safe always run the upgrade utility after the installation. Say next and install and it will now install iQPOS for you. You will see it will be on your hard drive in a folder called IQ Retail. Within that there will be a folder called IQ Enterprise and then another folder IQ Enterprise and all the information will be in there. So we're just going to wait for the installation to complete and then once the late installation is complete I will also show you how to do the upgrade. Remember, if it's not a first-time installation, before you run this installation file, close iQPaaS, make sure all the users are logged out, and make sure you've got a good backup. And then you can run the exe. Always run it on the same server and the same location. If you change your location, you will change your registration. Oh, you will lose your registration. It's almost finished. Once the installation is complete, we will automatically open the upgrade utility because you specified yes at one of the earlier questions. Here I'm going to click on finished your username and password. The default user is user1 and the password is 41. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 1 and then you can press enter. This is to open the IQ Upgrade Utility. Only administrators will be able to do this. All you then do is you say upgrade or table upgrade and then you click on run. And this is now going to run through all your companies. Once this is finished you can click on OK and you can close the installation. And that concludes looking at how to install the iQPaaS installation file.